One of them is uh, the Member of Parliament for the NC, the Greater Athlone area, Faiz Jacobs. Faiz, assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Wa alaikum salam and to all the listeners and viewers of Salam Media. It's a real honor to be uh, on the station. Yes, uh, wonderful, you know, that you're able to join us. And uh, as I said, you know, we get to talk to delegates from now and then just to get some sort of feedback, some sort of an idea as to what is actually playing out behind uh, closed doors. Yes, we have challenges. But for me, I'm honored to be a, a, a delegate and a member. So I'm a, a part of the provincial leadership of the Western Cape. I was the former provincial secretary. Um, and now I'm a member of parliament uh, on behalf of the ANC and I serve in the constituency of Athlone, which is mainly the Cape Flats area. I'm also the work for, uh, for small business development. So those are areas and the ANC is truly a non-racial uh, organization. Um, I, I think for us as Muslims, we need to see the ANC as part of that brochure that we are South Africans also. Whilst we have the Muslim identity, uh, we are South Africans, so we must play an active role in getting a critical mass of good people in the ANC so that we can push an agenda for change and develop. Yes. Things have been accommodated. And I think um, our numbers are growing. Uh, we have a 21% 20, uh, increase in our membership. So more and more, as we're changing and as we're renewing under President Ramaphosa's leadership, people are seeing that the ANC is a home for all of us. Uh, we had our golden years and we want to go back to that stage where uh, the likes of Dala Omar, uh, and all of our previous leaders uh, played an instrumental role in the constitution that we have. Absolutely. And in fact, this was a question I was going to ask because, you know, uh, you mentioned the likes of Dala Umar and, uh, you know, we've seen so many uh, when uh, initially when uh, we became a democracy and uh, when we got rid of apartheid. And just to, uh, you know, uh, relive some of those moments, the, 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 the important role that people like Dala Umar and uh, looking to, uh, you know, into the future, do we have the Dala Umars of the future to uh, you know, be part and parcel of this organization and to take this country forward? Inshallah, I make you up, like, I'm, I've been in this ANC under Dala as a youngster. I cut my teeth, I also schooled in the Mitchell's Plain. So I've been in the ANC for 30 years. It had its ups and downs, we had our glory days, we went through a very difficult period, but we need to create new Dala Umars new Ashley Kills, and we want to appeal to the younger generation. Uh, the ANC is your space, it's your home, you must flock it, we need professionals. And that was the call when the president spoke in his presidential address. We need good people. We need all South African patriots of every persuasion to come into the organization, roll up their sleeves, stop this thing about asking what you can take and steal and be greedy and, and all of those things. We're looking for people that can serve our people. The ANC's primary objective is to serve and solve our people's problems. And so we need servant leaders with humility, but also with focus. And you know, our dean is, is my base, is the faith and, and, and belief is my base for continue doing work. We do a lot of uh, relief on the Cape Flats. Our people are struggling. And so we are creating more Dala, Dala Umars around. And I want to appeal to young people to come to the organization. And we need to have a critical mass of good people. 